Hello, I'm Peter and I've been an astronomer and astronomy sketcher for 35 years. Astronomy sketching is not some strange pastime for weirdos, but it is actually the best way how to learn to observe through a telescope. Because most people that look through a telescope, they just look for one, two seconds and then say, I've seen it. Believe me, these people haven't seen a thing. Because it takes time and patience and experience in order to discover all the little secrets that the image is trying to tell you. So, astronomy sketching is the best way how to learn this. And you don't need to be a Rembrandt or a Michelangelo. You also don't need to have one of these big guns. You can just as well do it with a small telescope, a pair of binoculars or even with the naked eye. With this series of videos I'm going to show you in detail every single step how to make perfect astronomical drawings yourself. And you'll see it will be very easy and I hope you'll enjoy it. There are just as many sketching techniques as there are astronomical sketches. Some prefer to use white pencil on black paper, others prefer to use uh, charcoal or pastel or whatever. What I'm going to show you now is my personal technique which uses ordinary white paper and a very ordinary pencil. Preferably a soft pencil because you'd want to be able to wipe what you've drawn with your thumb or your fingers afterwards. And for the rest I use a ruler and an ordinary pair of compasses. Now this is very important. Um, the preparation is vital for the success and especially the accuracy of your sketch. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate now may seem a bit tedious and unnecessary but if you don't do this your sketch can never be as accurate as it could be. So this is really, really important. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pair of compasses and draw a circle on the sheet of paper. So we put a point somewhere in the middle and then we're going to draw a circle like this, which represents the field of view of our telescope or the instrument that we use. Good. Then we put a small marker here, near the top. It's not really important where exactly, somewhere at the top. It's okay. And then we take the compasses again and with exactly the same radius as the one that we've used to uh, draw the original circle, we're going to put the point here on the marker and then draw another marker here on the circle. Then we're going to move the point to the marker that we've just drawn and draw a second marker here. And then move again and draw another marker here and here. And so we're going all around the circle like this. And if everything's okay, then we'll put a point here and the last marker then the pencil should arrive more or less at the uh, original marker, which is the case now. Then we're going to put the point of the compasses here in the bottom marker and draw a fragment of a circle like this here near the corner. Then we put the point here on the next marker and draw another fragment this and so you see that we've created a cross near the, near the corner. Then we're going to take the ruler and our pencil and we are going to draw a line which goes from the cross here to the exact center of the circle where the point is of our compasses. We're going to draw a line this up to the circle. This will be yet another marker and from here with the compasses still with the same, exactly the same uh, radius we are going all around again drawing markers. Like this 
here and a last one here and again if everything's okay then put the point here then exactly we arrive at this marker. What we've done is that we've drawn 12 markers with exactly the same distance between them on our circle like the hours of a clock. So on top we've got 12, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So now we are ready to go out. Uh, I repeat, this is very, very important, even if it may sound a bit yes, tedious. Uh, if you stick to this, your drawing can never go wrong. There is one last thing that we need before we go out, and that is a red torch. Why red? Well, because red is the colour to which our eyes are least sensitive in the dark, and therefore it will less likely impair your night vision. There are many different torches on the market, and a very popular model is something like this. You see, well, it's got white as well, but also red. And it is very handy because you can wear it on your forehead like this and then have both hands free. But in reality, it's not very good because uh, this is a LED and it generates a very bright but also very narrow beam of light. So on your sketch pad you get very bright at the centre and a lot less bright around it and it will also blind you during the night. Therefore a much better choice would be something like this. Old classical torch with an ordinary light bulb or if you can't find any a LED but then cover the front with several layers of red plastic. This way you get a very even beam of light and it will never blind you as much. So that's it for now, out we go and in the next video I'm going to show you how to proceed with the drawing itself.